Hey, what's up everyone? Johnny the Geek here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to update your iPhone 4 or iPod to the new iOS 5.0. And so basically, uh, if you don't already have an iTunes um, authorized to uh, interact or download or sync your iPod or iPhone, then you're going to have to first authorize it. So to do that, what you're going to do is you're going to go up to Store, then authorize this computer log in with your iTunes account and uh, keep in mind you do have to have the latest um, iTunes version right so once the computer is authorized uh, is successful what you're gonna do now is uh, transfer your purchases from your iPod or iPhone to iTunes so start by going to file then transfer purchases and now it's transferring everything that's on that iPod and uh, you have the options to uh, automatically do this every time you connect your iPod and then you can uh, also choose what you want to transfer music apps books etc so I'll just click on OK and wait for this to finish alright so now that we've uh, transferred all of our purchases over we are ready to update so on the summary tab you'll find the update button so go ahead and click on that and then it's telling you that you're gonna lose everything so uh, make sure you have everything backed up and once you uh, have all that go ahead and click on update and then click on next agree and that's it um, your update is gonna download and once it's finished downloading uh, I'm gonna show you how to uh, transfer back all of the apps and sync them. Uh, this should take about like 20 to 30 minutes depending on your internet connection. Okay so we're back and you now have the iOS 5.0 we're going to sync back uh, all of the apps that you initially transferred earlier so uh, by doing that you click on the uh, apps tab and then sync apps and then highlight all of the apps that you want to uh, sync over and then going to click on apply and now it's going to transfer back all of the apps from your iTunes that you uh, backed up earlier and transfer it back into your iPhone or iPod and so this is going to take about another uh, uh, 10 or 15 minutes however many apps that you have the more apps you have the longer it's going to end up taking All right, that's pretty much it thanks for watching John the Geek out